Hello! Welcome back to another video on my channel. And today I'm going to be giving you guys some river fishing tips. So now when you're river fishing and if your water like is a little bit, you know, clear, dark, doesn't matter, you can use a shad pattern type of lure. Plastics usually work well. Twister tails, you know, they usually work pretty well. And today I am down here at the Mississippi, which I, in Minnesota, fish a lot. And I use, like, since I know there are shad in this river, I've seen them jumping, I've netted shad here before, I use a shad patterned twisted tail, basically just a white twister tail on a white jig head. Now, the type of gear that you will want for this is you're going to want some something that can hold a heavy braid test like the least you're going to want to go is 20 and that's what i have on my bait caster and as you can see i have my twister tail and i have 20 pound braid on my bait caster and that's the least you're going to want to go because if you hook into a big big catfish you're gonna break off because when i first started river fishing i had six pound monofilament on a spinning rod on a five foot spinning rod and it's just it wasn't good and I always broke off on whatever fish I caught now that was not good see now what here at the river me I catch very very big rock bass people who are not new to this channel who have who know what I fish and whatever they know I catch almost state record rock basses. You know, where I live here in Minnesota, the state record rock bass is only two pounds. You know, like you might be thinking, only two pounds? Wow, man, that's a huge rock bass. It is. I've gotten close to catching a state record, and that is my overall goal, is to catch a state record rock bass. Anyway, about that rock bass, I got off topic. Now, what you're going to want to use for gear, you're going to want to use sort of a medium heavy type of rod. And that's what you're going to want. It doesn't matter what type of reel you have as long as it can hold some sort of a, a heavy pound test. At least, okay, I'm going to say with braid you're going to want to go at least 10. Um, and then with monofilament you're going to want to go at least 17. Because you, if you're casting into the current and you hook a big fish and whatever, you're gonna, they're gonna start fighting with and against the current. They're gonna switch up their motions on you and they're gonna break you off on anything weaker than that. Okay, so now I've already covered like the plastic type of bait you're gonna want to use. Let's go into live baits. Live baits like bluegill, shad, like any type of sunfish, even minnows work very, very well. See now, where I live in Minnesota, we cannot use any type of sunfish, but we can net for shad and minnows and all that other good stuff that we can use to catch catfish. Now basically, that is catfish bait right there, and they usually just love to just munch on it and, you know, so, yeah. So the type of hook you're going to want to use if you're catfishing, you're going to want to use a circle hook. Because with a circle hook, you're not going to need to, like, set the hook into the fish. Now, basically, I don't have anything with me. This is kind of just a last-minute tips, tutorial thing. Um, but you're going to want to use some sort of a circle hook. And what kind of... You're going to want to hook the bluegill or whatever you have. Maybe I will do an updated, like, video on this soon if once I get, uh, once I get some minnows and whatever. And, um, yeah, everything like that. But, so this tips video will be updated, um, but that's not all. So, where I usually find my bigger rock bass and whatnot is I find these eddy pools. I usually find them, I cast into there, and I will hook one, you know? And then you set your hook and you get all this other stuff. And honestly, this is disgusting and they love it. If you guys can see all that, that is disgusting water and they love to hide in it and yes that is that so that's all i have for this river fishing tips video um if you 
you guys want me to do some sort of like, you know, you will find a lot of other channels who will give you tips on catching catfish and a lot of other stuff. I recommend going and checking out the Fish Whisperer. Yes, you didn't tell me to do that. But the Fish Whisperer, like, he, that's, I like that channel for when I have to, for when I catfish this river. So, um, go, definitely go check him out. He didn't tell me to do this. I don't even know the guy, but, you know, he's just, he's a great guy. So, yeah. But, if you guys enjoyed this little tips video, you know, I just wanted to do a little something here. And if you guys enjoyed this, make sure to leave a like, comment, maybe subscribe if you want. I really, I'm just trying to get out there in the fishing community because this is what I want to do. This is what I love to do. I love to fish and I like to share it with you guys. And soon, maybe hopefully, I will have like the chest mount with a camera so it can be way better content than what this is right now. Because honestly, I could be way better than this. But like I said, I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope it helped somewhat. And I'm trying to get into weekly videos. I think this is going to be close to almost two weeks from our last video. But I, th I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it helped. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.